Hey, up skis. Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, so in today's video, guys, I'm going to be going over and breaking down clips which I have got and I want to break them down and explain explain like tips and techniques on how you guys can adapt these skills and become absolute giga chads. So the clips that you've just seen, the two on shoreline, are the, the first two clips that we're going to be uh, analysing and going over together. So let's get into it anyway. So let me just like set the, set the scenery here. So I'm playing with a friend. We've, he's told me that there's some PMCs down on bottom floor. So we're going to, I decide to drop down through the hole, go into this corner here and try to figure out what's going on. So here, the first tip that I want to talk about and, and make sure you guys understand is you don't need to be running around all the time. So I, I so my mates just said to me, he doesn't know where they are, but we I can hear him moving. So what I'm doing here is I'm sitting down and I'm gaining information. I'm trying to figure out where the PMCs are without showing my face. So I can, I can, I can like, I can go kill them as fast as possible without them knowing where I am and giving them the least amount of information possible. So what I'm about to do here is, it's a, it's a fast wiggle peek, which is extremely good at gaining information and you're able to find out where they are, why they're looking, what, what the PMCs are doing. So the next time that you peek, you can pre-aim there and kill them instantly. All right, I'll show you quickly again. So here, let me try to stop it exactly where it is. So here, I've wiggle peeked out, and because of the desync in Tarkov, at this moment in time, he can't actually see me because of how the, how much desync's in Tarkov. So, but like, so he can't see me, but I know that he's sat here. I know what gun he's got. He's got a vector. He's got a big mag. I know that. He's got an alpha armband, so he's pretty experienced. So I, I already know all this stuff about the fight, and he doesn't even know. So let's have a look again. So he's, so he started spraying me, like when I was back into the room, because on his screen it looks like I'm still still at the door. That's the desync. So this is what I mean by the information that I gained won me that fight. Even though I nearly died and he destroyed my arm and took my leg off and gave me two bleeds, I still won the fight and it still worked out in my favour. So gaining that information is extremely important. And the wiggle peek to gain the information is just, it's really good. And if you can master that skill, you will I promise you right now, you'll become so much better at Tarkov and winning the gunfights. And then the second gunfight on this on this cliff here was this. So what happens here is, I, again, I can hear someone coming down these stairs here. So I take cover. 
and I've gained information. I'm gaining information until I know that he's stood around here, so I can run out and use the my use my keeper's advantage to kill him. Here is where I can hear him. He starts shooting. Keeper's advantage. Bang, bang, bang. The guy's dead. GGS. Let's move on to the next clip, guys. So here in the second clip. I use the same sort of techniques again. I use the quick wiggle peek. I'm gaining information. As we can see right here. So I use the wiggle peek. I gain information. I find out that this guy is right there. I didn't know if he was there. If he was on this corner. If he was on this corner. If he was in that door. I didn't know where he was. So I've used the wiggle peek. I'm gaining information. It's just so effective. It's absolutely ridiculous. If you don't know how, if you if you if you haven't mastered this wiggle peek to gain information yet, I would highly recommend just learning it now because you are gonna become an absolute gigatron. So I've gained information. So I repeek it. Let's just replay that again. So I gain information here. Look at you can notice how I'm not actually aiming at him. I'm just gaining information. This this first peek is literally just to gain information. And then I re-peek, I take some pop shots, I actually hit him a few times, so now he's scared, he's intimidated, and I'm in complete control of this fight. So he's just having a nightmare, bad game. Again, so right now, what, like in my, so I'm ensuring that I'm lifting my gun before I get to the door so I can shoot straight away, like that. Even though I didn't even hit him then, now he's aiming at that door still, and... I have like at this point I've a hundred percent won the fight. That's why I can just walk in, shoot him, have a laugh, get a cup of tea. It don't matter what's going on for me. So we've used the wiggle peek again. We've gained information. We've, we're we're manipulating the fight. You're manipulating the other PMC to be in your control. It's it's all mind games in Tarkov. Like you don't necessarily need the best aim. You don't necessarily need the best um, like skills with a mouse and keyboard, but what you do need is is to know how to wiggle peek and get information. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's head over to the the next set of clips, guys. GG's. So here we have the second clip, which is a two man. I also attempt the new B hop little trick that has come into Tarkov recently. But what I want to talk about with this clip is the fact that at the start I use I, I sit and I use audio again to try to figure out where they are and what's going on. And then I see the first guy run out, but I don't shoot. So I decide, you know what? I'm going to pick my shot. I'm going to wait for the second guy. Anyway, let's let's go to it here. So if we... So we, we pre-med. Ideally, you always want to be pre-medding when you hear P PMCs, so you've got an advantage in case your legs get shot out, you, you can still run away. So here, I can hear people, but I don't really understand where they are. I can't tell if they're in admin, if they're above me, if they're down this corridor a bit. Um, here, I, 
when I when I get onto these stairs here, I start to hear footsteps, and I still don't really understand if they're down the corridor here on the second floor or if they're on the bottom floor coming from admin. I just don't understand where they are, so I decide I need to I need to wait and figure out what's going on and figure out where they are. So I'm kind of gaining, gaining an understanding here. So this is what you want to be doing in situations like this. Don't make make noise yourself when you don't understand where the op like the opposition are, or you're just gonna give away your position and they're gonna have an advantage on you. So here now, I can tell. At this point, I can tell they're going outside, but I'm just pre-aiming this door just in case somebody else is going to peek this door. This is just being super cautious. So now, this is what I'm talking about with you picking your shots. I could have quite easily started spraying at this first guy, right? But then what would have happened is the second guy would have killed me. So I've let this guy run past and I kill his mate behind him. Now, the second guy's over there. I'm at, he can't see me, so he can't kill me. So picking the shots worked out pretty well here. And then this is where in my head, just before this raid, I'd actually watched a video on Facebook uh, with the new bunny hop. And I'm, I've been thinking, I've been telling my mates that I'm going to do it. So I'd, this is where being confident with your gameplay comes into effect. You definitely want to be playing with super confidence because confidence is key and confidence will get you kills. So I decide, you know what, I'm just going to bang a B-hop out here. And I actually hit him, and ah, I wish it killed him, but at least now he's intimidated, and I've hit him, and he knows that I'm being confident, so he's scared. Confidence is 100% key. And the last thing that I want to talk about, like that this, sh this clip shows an example of, is here. I lay down. Nobody ever lays down in Tarkov fights, right? So... Now this guy's peeking, he's expecting me to be back up on them stairs or just be stood here aiming at him. So when he peeks, he has no idea where I am. As you can see, he's literally peeked, he's no idea where I am, he hasn't shot. And I've literally just got a free hit fire on his head. Dead. GG. So, the second clip, right, I'm going to go over exactly what you need to know and what you need to take on board. So again, you need to use your audio... You need to be using your audio, listening and trying to manipulate them, their movement so you can t get an angle on them without them even knowing that you're there. You need to make sure that you pick your shots like I did here. Oops, sorry, a bit too far. Like I did here. I picked my shots. So sometimes when, you, when you're fighting groups, you need to try to analyze the actual situation. I know it's like a really fast thinking thing because this happened in such a fast, a fast small amount of time, but learn to pick the shots and not just start spraying people straight away. Like, oh my God, there's someone there spraying them. Don't do that. That's just not the best thing to do. And confidence, confidence and laying down in fights. Laying down in fights is so uncommon and it, it's, it's that uncommon that when you do lay down, nobody even expects it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to move on to the third and final clip that we're going to analyze. Let's do this! So the third and final clip was an absolutely disgusting one tap on labs. Let's just watch the let's just watch it again quickly here. So I decide I have I know there's a guy down there. I don't know if he's peeking the corner or anything yet. But I decide to do a few uh like blind shots. Do a few do a few pre fires to kind of show my presence and show him that I'm not scared to fight him. So it's kind of like a mental game thing. 
And then I'm using the right hand peak, the right side peak. This is what this clip is about. The right side peak is so overpowered again because because of the right hand peak, because of the gun is on the right hand side of the body, the other player doesn't see pretty much any of you compared to what they I see of them because he's left hand peaking me. So I knew that if he was there, that he's going to get destroyed because he can hardly see me and I can see like his full body. So I use the right hand peak and I take the shot very fast and it was a lot faster than like I usually would do it, but it worked out. It worked out really well. It was it's one of my favorite clips that I've got. So I've, I've I've used the right hand peak and he's he's right there. And basically because of the desync as well. So because of the desync, when I've right hand peak and I've shot so fast, he won't have even seen me do that on his screen. So it's like abusing the game in a way but it's you have to do it to be able to win gunfights in this game it's just the way it is at the moment i hope it gets fixed in the future and, and like the future attack is different but if you want to win more gunfights this is extremely important extremely important to right hand peak instead of left hand peak that guy was always going to lose that fight let's just watch that clip again here so if you see let me see if I can stop it bang on. So at this moment in time here, when I'm peeking and I'm aimed on his head right here, I'm aimed on his head, on his screen because of the desync, he won't have even seen me peek yet. So I get to take one shot, which is what I took before he even gets to see me. It's absolutely bullshit, but this is just the way that it works. And I, I was accurate with it this time and it, and it banged him in the head, which was absolutely awesome. <laughs> so yeah that was the third and final clip it was just a short one just to go over it again basically it's sometimes it works to show your presence and start pre-firing even though you know that they're not there yet show your presence because it kind of intimidates them and scares them and ensure that you're using the right hand peak let's be giga chats together See you there, guys.